a brand new video and welcome to make up monday so today i am super excited for this video guys because i have had this makeup since november and it is time to use it and test it out i have the box of crayons i should open it If you guys are not familiar with the crayon case it is a makeup brand that centers around school supplies so I shopped on Cyber Monday they had a 60% off sale so this bad boy here retails for $30 yes $30 and then I also went ahead and purchased the crayon case honor roll highlighter which retails for $18 what else did I get I also purchased their new chalk dust setting powder which retails for $20 I also have some of their new products which are some concealers I went ahead and got two shades the shade number 25 which you guys can see is pretty light and the shade 15 which is a little bit darker and I also purchased the white out eyeliner pen I believe this was between five to eight dollars but I purchased these products um, the day that they came out and then I purchased these three products on Cyber Monday so like I said guys they had a 60% off sale I ended up spending I got a discount of $40.80 wow $40 unbelievable I'm gonna go ahead and open it this is the components I'm gonna go ahead and take it out it is bubble wrapped on the inside and it was packaged very well um, on top of this bubble wrap being inside of the actual package the entire thing was bubble wrapped as well so here we go and guys this is not my first time like actually opening this up I did go ahead and do like some finger swatches when I very first um, got it you guys can see it has a huge mirror there and check out these colors now I'm not gonna swatch every single color guys but we are gonna go ahead and swatch some of these shimmer shades okay guys I just went ahead and swatched a few of their colors few of the shimmer shades few of the mattes so far so good um, but you guys know the true test of eyeshadows is seeing if how they will actually look on the eye BAM you guys are closer so I am just gonna quickly swatch these concealers I think I'm gonna use this one which is number 15 and how do you get the product out so you just kind of press the tube and the product comes out but I am going to use the oh this isn't too dark actually this is not too dark at all I can probably use this as my highlight shade there we have that and I did put some underneath my eyes I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that or not but yeah basically if you squeeze the sides then the product comes out I thought that it was like twist but I also have some new beauty big bang brushes so we have this one we have this one more like a pencil -y one have this one which just seems like a more fluffier one then we have the little fan brush so I'll probably be using those brushes today to create a look I have no idea what I'm gonna do no idea but we're gonna go in with like the fluffier beauty big bang one which is this one here and I think that I'm gonna start with the yellow first I'm gonna try to use as many colors as I possibly can but we're gonna go in with the yellow just gonna kind of tap it in there lightly look at that pigment I'm gonna just tap off any excess and we're just gonna put it in we're gonna do the crease a little bit above the crease so That is the yellow. Went into the palette a few times. 
and I kind of like that where it is right now. So I think that I should go into either the red or the pink. Which one should I do? Because the magenta, the pink is like a more sparkly color. So let's go ahead, guys, and just let's just let's just go for it. Look at that. Let's try it. red definitely like woo, definitely shocked me um wow i wasn't expecting that okay red okay so i think we're gonna have to go a little bit darker um we're gonna go in with the purple next we're just gonna purple we're just trying it it's just makeup we're just playing around i don't know what particular look i'm doing i'm just trying it out let's go into the purple i'm going to be using the same brush and as you guys can see, these colors pack a punch. Okay guys, so I know this looks a mess now, but I am actually going to be cutting the crease. Um, but I want to kind of deepen this up as well. We're going to go in with one final color for the crease. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the deep plum color here. Why don't we go into another brush, this little pencil brush from Beauty Big Bang. Going into the deep plum and look at that. Back into that first brush, take a little bit of the yellow and just kind of blend out the brow bone. So now I think it is definitely time to cut this crease. Cut the crease. Let's just try out this lighter shade, number 25. I'm just going to squeeze. That's how I'll kind of show you guys. So, and I'll be using a small e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. So, let's go ahead and get, oh my gosh, look at the pigment. Oh, look how, look how yellow that is. see that is not the lines are not perfect but that is okay so now that the crease is cut looks like the look is coming together it's coming together and now it is time for the shimmer shade so I think I'm gonna go in with this pink this pink has been calling my name and I think I'm gonna use a little bit of that blue as well maybe the orange maybe maybe the gold I think the gold and the pink I forgot about gold there's silver there are so many shimmer shades in here so we're gonna just use a few I think I'm gonna start off with gold and then maybe gradually go into pink I don't know Next 
up, I'm going to be taking a little pencil brush from Sonia Kashik. And I think I'm going to go in to this white. And we're going to use that for the... And we're going to use the white for the inner eye corner. Okay guys, next up, I really want to try this white eyeliner. Okay guys, how cute is the packaging for this? Let's open it up. So it is that white was very very difficult to work with it's not like working with like a black or any other color for that matter um, it's kind of streaky and it's really hard to like get like smooth lines so in with my Tartiste mascara and we're gonna put some mascara on. I'm not really liking the white um, eyeliner. I'm gonna do my face routine and then I will be right back to try the rest of the products. Okay guys, so I finished with my foundation. I am using the Fenty Beauty today. So next up, let's go ahead and try this concealer on the face. So I'm gonna use the color 15 just because I think this color here is gonna be way too light. So I don't know how I should do this. Um, let's go ahead and just use a brush. Um, I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then we're going to just... Guys, and let's go ahead and use Miracle Sponge. Blend it out. I think that that looks pretty darn good um it's not like this super highlighted color obviously you guys can see that the color i use is not that far off from my um regular skin tone but um overall that looks pretty good i'm actually going to quickly set that we're going to be using the chalk dust setting powder this is how it looks here this is definitely this is the shade o and I'm gonna go ahead and actually use a sponge with it and go ahead and set my concealer. I don't know if you guys can tell from this side to this side, this side has the powder. You can definitely see that it has highlighted honey. It is highlighted. I did use this powder before um, and I used way too much the first time I used this powder so a little bit of this goes a long way um, depending on what shade you get as you guys can see I got more of a yellow powder that um, it's really going to brighten as you guys can see she's bright underneath the eyes which is what I like and again you do not have to use a ton I kind of feel like it kind of clings a little bit um, that's why you need to use a little bit. You don't need to use, you know, 30 pounds of powder. But I am quickly going to kind of contour a little bit. This is another Beauty Big Bang brush. And we're going to use the MAC um, Blunt. Last product to try out is the honor row highlighter so inside of the box this and then it's also got some type of um what is this it's got some type of i guess this protects this voila the highlighter honor row highlighter we like bronzy gold like rosy gold okay and then i'm gonna go in with Beauty Big Bang highlighting brush. 
we are about to haul it away. And now we are going to set the face using the Mario Badescu finishing spray. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Melting Pot Gel Liquid Lipstick in the color Gelebrity. Okay guys, so that is the final look. Now that the makeup is completely done, I actually don't mind the white eyeliner. I think next time I was going to put it like in the crease, like line the crease. I'll try that next time. The consistency of the white liner is just really hard to get a nice smooth um, application. And then um, it started to crack just a little bit here. Um, but overall... Um, I will try it like right here next time and um, I think I kind of used a little bit too much initially so we'll try it again but just the first impressions it's just okay I have never tried a white eyeliner before so I wanted to give it a try chalk dust setting powder like I said in this video is not my first time using this a little bit of this goes a long way you don't have to use a ton and you will be highlighted and you can they have more than one shade of this so you can get um, your skin tone if you want just to set all over the face um, but I prefer um, more of a banana powder for the under eye so that's what I got so far so good I love like the um, highlighted look underneath my eyes kind of brightens you makes you look more awake love it These concealers are a go now obviously this one is too light for me to use as you know conceal underneath my eyes maybe I'll try it I don't know but um, it's good to use it's I use this to did I use this yeah I use this to cut the crease I believe I did works really well for that this concealer works well to use it as an eyeshadow base um use it is good to use underneath your eyes all all around these concealers are good and they're only five dollars girl get into it come on now. come on now this is amazing now the lasting look i absolutely love i think i used three six seven different colors in here you can make so create so many different looks if you're someone who has not um, is not sure about colors just give it a go I am not someone who wears this type of look all of the time but it's kind of nice to have to kind of play around with get out of my comfort zone which I appreciate it so I definitely think that this is worth it not a ton of fallout which I was kind of shocked um, you get a beautiful color payoff as you guys saw in the brushes <clears throat> bomb come on now on a roll highlighter you see the highlights stop playing and I love how it's kind of like soft and you can build it up and it's not like a super loud like gold. I think this would work on like a lot of different skin tones, which is pretty awesome. Make sure you guys follow the crayon case on their Instagram. I will leave the direct link to the Instagram below and I will try to remember to leave the links of all the products that I purchased. Make sure y'all check it out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys have used any of these products, please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate you guys for watching. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye. Me every time.